Good morning, excuse the wet hair. I have just had a shower, but um, I'm about to go and visit my friend in Bristol. And I thought, do you know what? If I'm making the trip, obviously I'm visiting the Lego so I feel that that's a given, but also um, I'm passing Ikea and I need some stuff for the house anyway. So I may have a little look because there's a few bits of storage in the room that aren't working that I need to find a solution for. So I just kind of want to go and have a proper browse it's a random like Monday so I'm hoping that Ikea is going to be pretty quiet and I'm going to just be able to have a proper browse. It's just going to be me which is good because Ben doesn't really you know enjoy Ikea so <laughs> that's fine. I'm just going to have a little wander around and have a think about how I can optimize some of my cable management and my storage solutions. Cable management wise I'm mostly trying to fig figure out like a neater and more easily changed way to light the city because obviously all the buildings have lights in but actually how they were connected to the main power source was a little bit like messy because it was kind of like added to as I went and I just need a few better options with bigger USB adapters so I can actually like plug things in at the level that things are at so that will kind of help so um, I'm actually really excited. I'm really looking forward to kind of having a little browse neck here. Also, I'll do my best. I don't like talking to my camera in public, but I'll do my best to show you some things in Ikea that may be really helpful for anybody starting or organizing their Lego room. Cause there's quite a few things that I have from Ikea that have actually turned out to be really helpful. I will show you some things when I'm there. Let's go. How cool was that? I love these big bookcases. I really like how they have doors. They look so fancy. And I need some lights like that. Ah, so beautiful. Now that would be amazing in the Lego room. I want something over the window. Oh, perfect. I really love how versatile the Galaxy units are and how many different inserts they have. Like this, if you have one, then you don't need everything for display. Like just having some extra drawers. So useful. And then, you know, anything that you need, you can just have. Um, pegboard, just a door, those weird dividers that, you know, I'm sure works for somebody. But yeah, it's awesome. And there's even more in the window now. Ooh, wow. In case you want to check yourself out. And if you want to be super posh, you have an insert with the glass door, which means that you can actually have a dust-free display in here, which, come on guys, like, it's not cheap, but also, it's so much nicer than having to dust everything all the time. And a trusted Billy range. Can't go wrong with a good Billy. Perfect for small sets and display. Not the most budget friendly option, sorry for the weird light, but I really like these ones. The little mark ones, they're new and they are so beautiful. <laughs> I actually really like them. They have an amazing range of display cases now. They're legitimately so jealous. Also, if you have specific size drawers, these or other adjustable drawer inlays can be really, really helpful because yes, they are for cutlery, but they can work really br brilliantly for Lego stuff. So, I've got the bigger ones where they where you can easier reach stuff, but just think about it. Please put that on your desk. If you're doing the rented, this may be awesome for some smaller set decoration. So just hook these onto the wall. Lovely and shallow, so they fit really easily. But they're cool. Another really useful little storage thing. Perfect to have it fit under a desk. And it's on wheels, but only back and forth wheels. And it has drawers, so you can lock it in place and then you have keys to drawers. But I think it's really useful. Also, a little tip, if you have packs or Billy bookcases and you're a bit bored of all of these like holes and you know, as much as you may want to adjust shelves eventually, if you don't like to see all of them, you can actually buy these caps so you can actually fill out all the holes so you, you know, it feels much more custom, much more finished. So, little tip, I mean, yes, it's a good value, you could probably get it cheaper, but it's helpful that it's here. Do I need a jungle's cog? I think so, for sure. Oh my god, so fluffy. Alright, if I get a cat, I need this bed for the cat. How bloody adorable is that? Like, come on. Yes. Okay. 
talked about these before, but these are new like containers and they're awesome if you're sorting parts for builds or old builds, so they're like super cheap and I think they're technically tool organizers, but I've got a few of these, as you know, the deep ones, they have smaller ones as well, which I love. These are the smaller ones and honestly I love them, they're so useful. Okay, they have ring lights and I'm very excited. I think this one is perfect because it comes with a phone holder that is removable. It may not, I mean it's a bit big for the window so I'm not gonna lie, but like the light is like dimmable with like this switch. Pretty amazing. I think I need this because that's gonna solve a lot of problems. Oh my god, it's even better. It has like a colour change. Warm, cold, middle. Oh, love it. Obviously it's out of stock. Typical. So if you love mini figures, this walk like rack thing is perfect because you can even paint it and give it backgrounds for like little scenes and minifigure displays and I think it's super cute. It's not like huge but it's perfect for minifigures. Alrighty, I've just left IKEA. It was a little bit less successful as I was hoping for. Not the best storage solution, so nothing really to upgrade my storage at the moment, but I did get something for the spare bedroom that Ben will really appreciate, so sadly it's not a dinosaur plushie sad times. However that lie that I showed you in the video that was out of stock I'm gonna try and order it for delivery because actually it's really good and it's also an offer if you're a Kia family member so I feel like you know it's not bad price for the lie that I really need and actually I've been really having trouble like getting a proper setup with me lit up especially now it's darker not just actually for filming but also when I'm actually just building I can't really I don't really have enough light so yeah, I'm really hopeful that's going to help me with that sort of whole situation. And yeah. Hello. So you want to be a YouTube star? How do you feel about Lego? <laughs> okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting perspective. My friend's dog, Arthur, is just the most adorable creature ever. And we just went for a little drink at the Grain Barge in Bristol, which is such an awesome spot. I would really recommend it. It's really, really like atmospheric. Alright, I stayed over in Bristol and it was like such a nice time. However, it is time to do a visit of the Lego store to actually properly peruse. Also, I need to get some shampoo from Boots, which is the most exciting errand to run ever. And after that, I think it's home time, so let's go. The next day was like such a perfect crisp autumn morning. Like it was slightly foggy and like fresh and felt really like autumnal and lovely. So I popped into Loaf, which is an amazing cafe. They have delicious food. Every single time I would want to order everything, but I can't. Um, and their coffee is amazing as well. So I spent a bit of time there, just kind of think about everything I had to do today. Had a bit of an extra long walk through Bristol because I had to just soak up the atmosphere. It was such a li nice little time. And then I had some random perusing of shops that I walked into. And here are some snapshots of things that I saw because they were all adorable and I had to share them with you. Definitely want that sticker with the cat with its middle fingers up in the air. That's amazing. The Lego store was really, really quiet. And I think it's probably just because it's just after double VIP points. Generally, there wasn't very much that I was interested in. The pad wall was a bit meh. They didn't have any of the interesting elements I was really after. The bam wall was relatively similar. There was a few new elements, but nothing out of the ordinary. And the only thing I got really tempted by was this modular Lego store, the new one, because it'd be really fun to use it as a mock, but I kind of left it on the shelf this time. Honestly, nothing really tempted me. Maybe it was just the lack of gift of purchase that I could afford. As I said, I didn't actually get anything from the Lego store, which I know is insane because I usually at least get some BAM figures, but I just wasn't really feeling it. There wasn't really anything that sparked my imagination and got me super excited, so I ended up not getting anything, but I did get something from Ikea. There's one thing on order from Ikea, but that's yet to arrive, so I think you can probably guess what it is. But I did get this for the sort of spare bedroom slash office, which I'm in currently. You can see my amazing Brookhead Funko Pop collection, which I'm very proud of. <laughs> but let me show you what I got from Ikea. So for the spare bedroom, we actually got this unit. So this unit is perfect because um, this is both basically a double bedroom for any guests, but also Ben's office and we needed more storage. He's very prone to um, littering his desk. So I needed more places where people could kind of like put documents and just stuff. This is a really nice unit. Also, I was really impressed with the build. It comes so very flat packed. I was very impressed and I had a quite good fun. And then the only other thing that I also got, and this is probably the first time I've probably shown you my house, but I also got some extra frames for my gallery wall that I have here by the stairs. 
I'm actually really quite proud of this. Ikea does really nice frames like that. Like there's just square hanging ones and I wanted to just add a few more to the wall. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of empty space still that I need to fill. Well, I hope you enjoyed coming along to Ikea. If you have any questions about any storage solutions that Ikea does do, definitely let me know. I'd happily chat to you about it. I think having the right storage for your room can really like maximize your space. And honestly, it's taken me quite a long time to properly get here. What I would always recommend is if you're trying to redo a room, make a sort of 3D floor plan. So I use a program called floorplanner.com, I think. It's free though, it's a little bit clunky, but it's good enough to plan a basic room. Um, if you have weird angles, that makes it a little bit more difficult, but I've really found it super useful and I don't think I would have come up with like the layout that I have if it wasn't for like a 3D floor plan. So I can definitely recommend that. They also have some Ikea furniture on there. So if you wanna play around with like the basic Billy and Calyx and stuff, it really does make it so much easier. Genuinely, I found it super, super helpful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you go to Ikea, have fun, have some meatballs and pie on me, and I will see you very soon in the next one, guys. Goodbye. Hello. I am sitting on the floor. Ooh, look at that. So much Lego. Mm-hmm. <laughs>